Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on uh, Safe Agile 5.1 Scrum Master. In this video, we will uh, go through the questions along with their answers, uh, which could be useful uh, with respect to Scrum Master in Safe Agile and Scrum that is also leading Safe 5.1. Okay, in my previous videos also, we have covered a lot of questions around uh, the same topic, uh, especially on the Safe Agile 5.1. So I hope you have watched those videos. If not, please do watch on my channel. And uh, if you like it, please uh, subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss any new video. Okay, so today let's go over the questions. Let's move on. If you like the video, please don't forget to click on like, subscribe. And also let me know if you have any comments or suggestions or anything you know on which you want me to prepare uh, more videos all right so let's start with the first question the first one is the scrum master role includes traditional scrum team leadership and responsibilities to which other group okay so let's take few seconds so that you can guess the right answer and then we will come to the correct answer So the right answer is the first one that is to the agile teams at program level so uh, a scrum master role as you all know that you know it is for the agile teams so i think this is pretty much clear and uh, all other options are not really um you know even close to the right answer so i think this is straightforward let's move to the next one what is the characteristic of an effective scrum master so again uh, you need to uh, you need to be clear on the uh, roles and responsibilities of the scrum master and then you can answer this question okay so supports the autonomy of the team articulates architectural solutions and uh, so obviously this is not the right answer is a technical expert that's also not the right answer understands customer needs um, all right that's also not the right answer and the right answer is the first one which is supports the autonomy of the team which means um, scrum master ensures that team can work independently um, in a self-sufficient mode so that you know um, they can achieve whatever results they have for the particular sprint or program um, and a scrum master is supposed to remove all the impediments for the team, right? So that's his main role. So that's why this one is the right answer. The next question. Why is a confidence vote held at the end of PI planning? Okay, so this is more of a PI related question. So as you know that once PI planning is, uh, you know, conducted, Towards the end, uh, RTE, who is like release train engineer, he uh, also performs this uh, confidence voting and that is held at the end of the PI planning. So what's the main purpose? What is the confidence, confidence vote held? Why? What is the need, right? So let's see the options to remove the risk for the PI, to build shared commitment to the program plan, to ensure the business owners accept the plan, to hold the teams accountable if the agile release train does not deliver on its commitment. So the right answer is to build shared commitment to the program plan. That means um, because every team and uh, all team members are involved in the PI planning, all the uh, stakeholders, right? So the confidence board is held so that they all are sharing the commitment towards the ultimate objective of the PI planning. So this is the right answer. Let's move to the next one. What falls outside the Scrum Master's responsibility? Okay, so this is like uh, we all know the uh, responsibility of a Scrum Master. So here we have to tell what is not in his Scrum, uh, in, in his responsibility, Scrum Master's responsibility, right? So facilitating the innovation and planning event, facilitating team events, attending the Scrum of Scrums, estimating stories for the team. So I think facilitating 
is the word which can tell you that okay this could be scrum master's responsibility attending the scrum of scrum obviously it is a scrum master's responsibility so the right answer is estimating estimating stories for the team of course the scrum master is not the one who will uh, estimate these stories it is team itself who will estimate right so i think first three are clear uh, responsibilities of scrum master so the one which is falling outside his responsibility is the last one that is estimating stories for the team let's move on which activity is a scrum master's responsibility again so the same question but in the in the other way right so coaching the release train engineers owning the daily stand up coaching the agile team prioritizing the team backlog so i think this is pretty much straight one uh, coaching the release train engineers so no uh, he cannot coach rt right owning the daily stand up no it is team who should own it he is there as a facilitator coaching the agile team okay prioritizing the team backlog no this is product owner's responsibility so the right answer could be coaching the agile team okay yeah that's the right one next is during pi planning who owns feature priorities okay so it says during pi planning not in the sprint planning so during pi planning who owns feature priorities business owner product management release train engineer or solution architect or engineer let's spend few more seconds before we come to the right answer so that you can also guess it so the right answer is product management okay likewise uh, in a sprint planning we have a product owner right so he owns the uh, priorities for a sprint similarly during the pi planning there could be more than one product owner right so it is mainly product management who is uh, owning this task which is feature priorities clear so this is the right answer let's move on when working with a scrum xp team what is expected from product management so again a question on the product management to provide iteration vision to the team to define the software technical specifications to understand the scope of feature work to coach the team on agile practices okay so let's see what is the right answer here let's take a pause so that you can guess it so the right answer is the second one to define the software technical specifications because in the previous question also we uh, had this similar question right on product management so here also uh, this is one of the um, expectations from the product management that if team has any questions on the uh, um, let's say technical part product management can can explain it like in the sprints we have product owner right so that's the right answer what is the goal of scrum of the scrums event so um, scrum of scrum is one of the uh, recurring calls after uh, pi planning is done um, rt which is release train engineer he facilitates uh, this meeting there is another one which is also called product owner alignment so the scrum of a scrum and product owner alignment are the two recurring meetings which happens even after pi planning also during the pi uh, the objectives are different for uh, product owner alignment and for the scrum of a scrums so in a scrum of a scrums what happens is uh, different scrum master from different teams they all join and uh, they uh, kind of review the progress and also they uh, discuss any dependency or any um, impediments which is you know causing problems for any particular team in achieving their goals right so that's how it works so if you look at the option so first is to review the agile release trains progress towards its pi objectives to review each team's progress on its stories to demo features to product management and then to focus on agile release train process improvement all right so uh, obviously this one is not the right answer this is also not the right answer 
to review each team's progress. Yeah, it's also not the correct answer. The right answer is the first one, which is to review the agile release train's progress towards its PI objectives. Okay, I think, and uh, that's the main goal of the Scrum of Scrum event. Let's move on to the next one. What are two common anti patterns during PI planning? Choose two options. So it says two common anti patterns, meaning which are against the uh, patterns during PI planning, which is the correct answer. Let's look at the options. The team determines where change should be targeted. The team backlog is applied to a very targeted part of the organization. Change is evaluated empirically by means of its iterative inspection. Pressure is put on teams to overcome it. Okay. A detailed plan becomes the goal rather than alignment. Okay. So let's go through these uh, options. Take few seconds. Guess the answers and then we will come to the correct options. Okay. Okay, so let's see the right answer is. Pre okay, yeah, so don't forget that we here we are talking about anti patterns. So this is right answer because this is anti pattern, right? Pressure is not put on the teams usually. So that is why it is the right answer here for this question. And the second one is a detailed plan becomes the goal rather than alignment. So usually it doesn't happen this way obviously these two will not be the right answer if you have to choose how it works in pi planning but since the question is on the anti patterns so that's why we have to choose these two options okay let's move to the next one which two actions are part of the scrum master's role in pi planning okay so we have uh, talked about uh, scrum master's role in previous questions also so let's look at the options. Ensure the team builds a plan they can commit to. Prioritize features to support the program vision. Again, I think this is product owner's responsibility. So this is not the right answer. Serve as the customer's proxy and work with the product management. Okay, he doesn't uh, represent customer. That's also not the right answer. Manage the program board. Align the value stream and agile release trains to a common vision. Okay, so I have already uh, ruled out two options. So from the remaining ones, please try to choose two. We'll take a pause and then we will come to the right answers. Okay, so let's look at the right answer now. The first one is the first one which is ensure the team builds a plan they can commit to of course this is the first one the second correct answer is manage the program board so if you remember uh, during the pi planning we have a um, program board also right and uh, a scrum master uh, plays uh, uh, an active role there okay so these are the two right answers for this question even this is also not the right one. Okay. Let's move to the next one. What is an IP iteration anti pattern? Okay. So, IP iteration obviously, you know that uh, in, during the PI planning, we, I mean, uh, usually keep the last sprint as uh, IP iteration, right? So, this is on the uh, same IP iteration. So choose two, I mean, not choose two, in fact, just one anti pattern. So let's look at the options. Allow for cadence based planning, identify opportunities for innovation spikes or hackathons, identify infrastructure improvements, plan work for the IP iteration during PI planning. So the right answer is plan work for the IP iteration during PI planning. So obviously, as you know, that IP iteration is uh, kind of, uh, you know, reserved. Uh, this is 
this time is utilized for any sort of uh, innovation uh, any sort of creativity like uh, optimization of the uh, code or um, you know perform some sort of uh, uh competition coding competitions which is like hackathons it's also mentioned here by the way so if you look at this option i think these are the main things which are performed in ip iteration right and uh, as an anti-pattern uh if you look at the options i think this one is the uh closest match here plan work for the ip iteration during planning pi planning so we do not really uh, plan work for ip iteration this is reserved for all sort of innovation spikes or hackathons or uh, any uh, tech improvements or any performance improvements kind of thing right so there is no work planned like no stories are planned for this ip iteration so that is why this is the right answer let's move on what is the purpose of iterations and program increment okay let's look at the options to demonstrate the increment to stakeholders to provide an architectural basis for future development to provide fast feedback learning cycles and frequent integration to provide status updates to the business okay so think about it which one is the right answer out of these four Let's look at the correct answer, the third one, that is to provide fast feedback, learning cycles and frequent integration. I think this is straightforward. I don't, I don't need to explain this one. Let's move to the next one. The Scrum Master is what above all else? So we know uh, the roles and responsibilities of Scrum Master. And from the options listed down here, I think uh, it's pretty much clear that uh, Scrum Master is a servant leader, a team coach, a safe agilist, and an empathic leader. So I will not answer this question. Probably you can guess the right one and uh, then we can come to the right answer. <clears throat> Excuse me. So servant leader, I think this is, so this is the right answer. Team coach, safe agilist, empathetic leader, uh, they are not the closest match, I would say, okay? So Scrum Master's main responsibility is to uh, behave as a servant leader, all right? Okay, so I hope uh, these questions were uh, really helpful uh, in revising the concepts and uh, and remembering whatever you learned so far um, and of course if you liked this video please uh, you know like it click on subscribe button and also share it with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get the benefits right and uh, please uh, revisit this video even if you have watched once i think uh, after a couple of weeks if you watch it again uh, probably you might want to revise your concepts and check your knowledge right so thanks a lot uh, thank you for watching this video um, i hope uh, you you can go through all other videos also and uh, you can uh, put your feedback in the comment section and let me know if you have any comments or any improvements for me i will also take that and uh, probably incorporate in the upcoming videos all right till then enjoy happy learning and thanks for watching take care